The difference between the alert height and the decision height is huge. In today's video, we will talk about that. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. V1 rotates. So guys, the alert height, as we said already in one of my previous videos, is an height at which you should perform a go around if a failure in an automatic system or a failure operation aircraft will happen before that. And if a failure in the automatic landing system happen, happens after that, you can continue because the system is considered to be redundant enough that it can perform an automatic landing. However, we have this auto land red light that if that illuminates even below the alert height, you should perform a go around because the failure is so big that an automatic landing cannot be be performed regardless of your altitude or your height. So the alert height is a height that the pilot has in his mind thinking about okay if a failure happens before this alert height on the Airbus A320 is 100 feet, I have to perform a go around. If a failure happens afterwards, I can continue unless the automatic landing red light will illuminate. Okay, so this is a, a pilot, this is how the pilot thinks about the alert height. The decision height, however, guys, is a completely different story. The decision height is an operational decision height. It's an height that depends on the type of the approach the pilot has to take into consideration to see if he or she has the visual reference to continue the approach. So as you can see, it doesn't really, it, these are two completely different heights. Okay, so the decision height is an height at which the pilot will look outside and see if it has the required visual reference to continue the approach. If it doesn't or she doesn't have the uh, required visual reference, he or she has to perform the go around. Okay, if you have the, the, the visual reference, you can continue. Okay, so these are completely different. One is related more to the aircraft systems and ground equipment and the, the alert height is related more to aircraft system and ground equipment, the decision height is more an operational height at which the pilot should make the decision whether to continue the approach or go around, okay? Take into account the visual references. Okay guys, so I hope you now understand what is the difference between decision, decision height and alert height and how the pilot think about these two different heights throughout the approach. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I wish you a great day and I'll see you on the next one.